year as it travels around the earth in cycles again and again and again. So I told you that water usually hangs around on earth in its liquid form. That's what we call water, right? But sometimes when things get really hot, not just here, but in rivers, lakes, streams and ponds. So these drops of water start rising up and they become an invisible gas called water vapor. This process has a name, it's called evaporation. Wow! So I told you what happens when liquid water becomes very, very hot. So what do you think happens when water vapor becomes really, really cold? Does it turn back into water? Yes. As the air gets colder and colder, because as we rise up, the air starts getting cooler and cooler. As you can see, water vapor starts turning back into liquid droplets. And this is called condensation. Ooh, are these water droplets on your hands? Interesting. And when these tiny drops of water start sticking together or condensing onto each other, or when these water drops touch other dust particles or condense onto them, they form something really beautiful. They form... Clouds! So that's where clouds come from. Stuck together. Oops! Condensed water droplets. Yes. And as more and more and more of these water droplets start coming together, cloud starts getting heavier and heavier and heavier and then it cannot hold that water anymore. So what happens is that that water starts coming down as rain. We call this precipitation. Ooh, why is that cloud so dark? You know, as the water starts collecting in the cloud, the cloud starts becoming heavier and heavier and heavier, right? And it's filled with water. So what happens is that, that water blocks the sunlight from passing through. So if you look at it from below, a rain cloud will appear dark because lesser light is passing through it. Look, a rainbow. Yes. Do you know that rainbows are created by the magic of raindrops? So what raindrops do is that when light hits it, they break up light into the beautiful colours that you see on a rainbow. Oh, light is so colourful. I didn't know that a raindrop had so much magic. Come, let's go faster. I want to see what lies at the other end of the rainbow. Dora, I hate to tell you this, but there is no other end to the rainbow. It's more of an optical illusion. So, when you move, it appears as if the rainbow is also moving with you. Mm. It's getting colder. Look, it's snowing. In extremely cold conditions like this, the raindrops freeze into tiny snow particles. So instead of raining, it actually starts snowing. It's so pretty. Yes, and you know that each snowflake is very unique in design and they're very slow. So they can take up to 45 minutes to reach the ground. If you like this video and if you want to watch more videos like these, hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy learning this way, download Byju's, the all new and personalized learning app.